Let's go to the arts in now with Nigerian entrepreneur Olufemi Ibitaya moved to Los Angeles. He found beautifully decorated homes that were missing one thing, colorful works of art. Realizing his new American neighbors didn't have access to many of the bold pieces from his home country, Olufemi turned his loft apartment into an art gallery. Patrice Howard reports from Los Angeles. Alexa, play Fele Kuti. <laughs> This studio apartment is an art gallery in disguise. Some of Nigeria's best contemporary artists have work on display here, above the bed, in the office, even by the kitchen sink. So I wanted to really create um, sort of a lived-in gallery space so people could experience art in the context of a living space so they could imagine how they could live with it as well. Nigerian-born entrepreneur Olafemi Ebitayo is opening his home kind of to offer American famous. buyers an unconventional look at African art, a chance to envision how a colorful design from the continent might look in their dining room or kitchen. He's challenging the status quo of traditional exhibits and challenging perceptions about Africa with help from artists who live there. It was really a result of my travels throughout the world and just seeing the representation of the continent. And the narrative was about poverty or war or disease or corruption. And I felt that it wasn't telling the complete story. And I felt like, who could tell our stories? And I, I looked to the artists to do that. On display are three generations of Nigerian artists, those born before, during, and post-independence. This piece, Fires of Descent, depicts northern Nigeria 15 years after the rise of Boko Haram. The artist, Joshua, says he is glad to enter the American market. It's an opportunity to reach new customers, new clients. So I want to reach out to the international audience so they can hear my voice as well. Now, every piece in Olafemi's gallery is for sale. So beyond introducing African art to the public here in Los Angeles, this gallery is creating economic opportunities for artists on the continent who want to expand their reach. Olafemi says his live-in gallery will eventually evolve to feature a diverse selection of artists from across the continent. There is a universal quality to contemporary African art. It really is for everyone. There's nothing here that could not be on anyone's wall, regardless of what it is. The African Contemporary Art Gallery's first exhibition, highlighting the work of these nine Nigerian artists, remains open until the end of June. Patrice Howard, CGTN, Los Angeles.